What is real? How do you define real? Maybe this world is an illusion. If so, how can you manipulate it into your desire? The first thing, you must know who you are and how, what, where, and when to manipulate this reality. The how is art, and this is what we will be talking today. We will be looking through the looking glass, AKA manipulating the dream world, which will manipulate our awakening world. You've been living in a dream world, Neil. Is the law of attraction real? In our workbook, Manipulating the Matrix, we show you just how real law of attraction truly is. What is reality? Are you aware? Are you repeating positive habits? Is it hard to focus? Arc represents the journey into manifesting. As you move towards your goal, the hardest part is that initial incline towards repetition. The beautiful and easy part is the downhill from repetition to concentration. And then taking this path rhythmically backwards, we get creation, reaction, and acceptance. Let us now deal with the reality of law of attraction, awareness. All matter, even solid matter, is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms themselves are mostly empty space. About 99.999% of an atom is empty space. That means that our bodies, even though they appear solid, are actually only about 99.99% empty space. Like a magic trick. Now that you know that this is an illusion, now you can change it. Bringing your awareness to the fact that the matrix is changeable will allow you to actually change it. Repetition is how this false matrix gets cemented into our minds as real. If you tell a lie long enough, people will start to believe it. It's important to tap into this power by repetitiously engaging with this muscle. The more you engage with this part of you through writing and sleeping on the things, the more you will notice that the world is changing in your favor. Now let's explain this through concentration because concentration is probably the hardest thing to do when it comes to the law of attraction. There are 50,000 thoughts in one day and focusing on one thing is difficult. A way to circumnavigate all of these thoughts is to memorize your future. See, by memorizing, you know exactly how your day is going to be and you're able to sleep on it. As you awake, you will not remember the song perhaps, but you will definitely know the words. And this is called prospective memory, also called memory for intentions. So we can remember to do things in the future now. Programming your memory at night is how you truly concentrate. And this is done by journaling before bed and before you start your day. And this is how your memories become thoughts, which ultimately becomes your reality. Purchase our workbook as a guide to manipulating the matrix how you personally see it. The purpose of this is to understand that throughout the day, you will have problems. But if your memory of how you want your overall day and life to be, those problems are easily overridden because you know what to do based on how you've programmed yourself. And this is what prospective memory enables us to do. So the arc, all three of these things work together as a unit by being aware, being repetitious and concentrating on that which you want to manifest the world will have no choice but to respond to your wishes and your memories. Stay tuned for our next installment of Manipulating the Matrix where we deal with intentions. We will tap into our intentions. Get it? Tap, time, anticipate, and prepare into intentions. 
stay tuned for that arc is to take a little bit of effort and then turn it into something autonomous turn manifesting into a habit in a way that you may have never done it before and this is why we titled this series manifesting in your sleep because when you're able to manifest in your sleep you're able to circumvent all of the 50,000 thoughts that you may have during the day and center and focus on your intentions and your intentions alone be sure to join our email list as well as purchase our new workbook manipulating the matrix in order to get you into a full alignment with this 2020 cycle as well as have a dream journal as well as keep track of your intentions as you move into this new cycle if you need any aid or any assistance please feel free to email me at hoodmystic at gmail.com if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this content regarding the workbook or regarding anything that we discuss thank you for listening i'm the hood mystic representing www.hoodmystic.com stay in tune for our next installment on this manipulating the matrix series where we really define what an intention is and what an intention isn't be prepared to tap in peace